Hey there folks, Andrew here of Discipline FX, and we are going to go over weeks 2 and 3 of my higher time frame 50k challenge with Funded Trading Plus. I have a few announcements to make, a couple updates I want to share with you, and then I'll show you the list of trades I took, and one of the good trades I really like this week I'll show you on the charts. So before we get started, I want to show you Funded Trading Plus's new dashboard, new trading platform, particularly for its US clients, but this is available to anyone. It's DAX Trade. Some of you may know that MT4, MT5 is no longer available for prop trading for US clients. This isn't just true for Funded Trading Plus, but it's also true for FTMO as well. And I think a few other prop firms are changing to DAX Trader for US clients too. Now, as a platform, I do like it. The order forms are great in that you can add your stop loss and take profit while you're creating your order and do so in pips rather than having to find out the price or go back on the trade and then add take profit and stop loss and pips later as you would with MT4 or MT5. So that's a nice bonus. The UX UI design is is nice. It's modern. There are a few good options you can use to trade. I'll probably do a review either as an article or a video at another time. Um, the one downside though is that it's a little laggy, especially when you're loading a chart, and I don't think it's possible to link this to a trade copier, so that means these DAX trade accounts are going to have to be trade separately on their own browser, on their own screen or whatever you have. So that's the first update. The second update is that I am making a little adjustment to the strategy. A small update, a small change um, as suggested to me by another trader. So if you wanna see the original rules to the strategy, I recommend checking out the first video in this series. But to start, I was just looking at daily timeframes, which meant I could probably find a trade every couple days. Um, maybe even every other day. But when doing a challenge, this can be very slow, which personally, I don't mind. I think rushing into a challenge doesn't always mean you're gonna win, but it can be tiresome, and it can be a really long wait when you're in a drawdown, especially. So I decided to add the 12 hour and eight hour charts to my top down analysis. So I'll be using the same exact strategy as I am with the daily chart, but applying it to the 12 hour and eight hour as well. However, I'm only gonna perform one trade with one time frame. So if I, I'm gonna start with the dailies, analyze the dailies. If I take a trade on the daily chart for a pair, so for example, like Euro USD, I will not take a trade if there's a setup on the 12 hour or eight hour because I'm already in a trade from that higher time frame. The higher time frame takes precedence over the lower time frames. So my process for analysis is to go over the dailies, go over 12 hour, and then go over eight hour and take any setup that I see. And as you'll see for weeks two and three, this allowed me to take th double the number of trades I took the first week. So now that I'm done updating you on the strategy, let's go over where my challenge is right now. Okay. so. I'm still in a drawdown. Um, it was another couple of losing weeks. I'm floating around a 2% drawdown and I'm still risking 0.5% per trade, although I'm gonna probably knock it down to 0.25% per trade should this drawdown continue. I had mostly losses this week, um, but a couple wins as well, which were both off of USDGPY, which is going through a nice little uptrend right now. Um, I'm gonna show you one of those trades soon. But I have a lot of faith in this strategy, and in my experience, every strategy goes through a period of drawdown. So I'm going to just wait this one out and try not to change too much. I think adding extra time frames wasn't too big of a tweak. We don't want to be in the cycle of constantly changing a strategy just because it's not winning every day or every week. So I'm going to do what the pros say you should do, which is just hold through, stick to your plan, stick to your plan, stick to your plan. And if in a couple of weeks I'm still in a drawdown or, I'm, or if I'm still not really returning enough for the number of losses, then I may look to tweaking some parameters of the strategy. So to tie this all up, I wanted to share with you uh, one of the good trades I took this week. It was a 
buy trade for the USDJPY. I got in with the close of an engulfing candle on the 12 hour chart. My stop was placed below the 150 price level and my take profit was basically at the top of the prior high and that worked out well in my favor. So all in all, just hanging through a drawdown. It sucks to start a challenge with a drawdown, but it is what it is. It happens. For the time being, I'm just going to keep doing what the plan is, trade these extra time frames as opportunities to get in a couple more trades per week, and overall just really be strict about following my checklist, following my rules, and making sure my stop loss, take profit, are in good price areas that are protected by certain levels on the chart and yeah hopefully i'll come back with better news next week all right i wish you all nothing but the best of strength and luck with your trading take care everyone see you in the markets